the Ocean Museum. UV levels stabilized. Please remove solar filters. Caution, live marine specimens. Please deactivate all comms devices. Look, eels, shark. Well, at least used to swim in the sea. That's all there's left now. Look at that big one. I know. Here. I don't know. The last thing I remember was swimming around by myself. I just couldn't find anybody. That's because nobody lives in the sea anymore. What? Nobody? Hologram transmission initiated. Just 30 years ago, the sea was teeming with life. Millions of species thrived in a richly diverse marine world. Look! They must be dolphins! Oh yeah, so they are. The seashore looks much the same now as it always has. However, what happens out of sight often remains out of mind. So the scale of this ocean-wide catastrophe is only evident beneath the waves. Dad, what's fish and chips? I remember eating that once when I was your age. Today in 2050, the oceans have been stripped of life. The sea is an empty, barren world where the majority of marine species are extinct. So how did this apocalypse happen? In the end, there were several reasons. Firstly, the fishing industry had become a monopoly, controlled by a handful of large companies using industrial-sized trawler fleets that were equipped with gigantic nets and underwater sonar to hunt down every last fish until they were all gone. In fact, the very last Atlantic cod ever caught was sold for 10 million pounds and served with chips at a gourmet restaurant in London. Look, there's fish and chips. Poor oh, soul. Soul? I thought he said it was card on the menu. The laws existed to prevent overfishing and to protect fish spawning and nursery grounds, but these laws were never enforced. Unlike nature reserves on the land, marine reserves never had any wardens to protect them. Worse still, everyone knew what was happening, and yet nothing was done to stop the relentless destruction of marine life. Other industries also profited from the sea, such as aggregate companies who dredged up sand and gravel to build houses and motorways, wiping out everything that relied upon the seabed for survival. Meanwhile, gallons of industrial chemical waste polluted the oceans, and combined with acidification caused by global warming. The sea was drained of oxygen and the entire ecosystem became a gigantic toxic soup. Some life forms tried to adapt, but inevitably, most were doomed. Ugh, I remember that. The sea tasted really nasty. Furthermore, hundreds of millions of tons of plastic were dumped into the sea and ingested by fish, marine mammals, and seabirds. Sadly, although it could have been avoided, it was inevitable that the entire marine ecosystem would collapse. In 2048, scientists confirmed 94% of all marine species as officially extinct. Hologram transmission terminated. But surely the fish will come back again one day, won't they, Dad? I don't think so. Extinct means dead, just like the dinosaurs.
Well, I suppose that's it then. Yep, free soul. But why didn't them humans do something before it was too late? Because they just didn't care. Thank you for visiting the Ocean Museum. We hope you've enjoyed your day. Don't just sit there. You can do something. Contact Marinette and find out how you can join the campaign to protect and restore marine life in our seas.